Hi, it's Dave uh, from Dave's Life Over 65. Just doing a quick video. Uh, I went out to the, today and shot some videos on the uh, Scarborough or the Scarborough uh, Bluffs above the Scarborough Bluffers Park. And there's all kinds of trails and stuff that I didn't know was there. So I got to uh, go out there and try out my new um, hobby, my new pastime, which is geocaching. And uh, boy, it's beautiful up there. There's trails all over the place. It, I had no idea it was so uh, much like being out in the country there. Um, there are people's houses that, that uh, back right up to the, to the um, public land there. So uh, basically you can sit on their, um, on their decks and uh, they'll be looking out over trees and, and creeks and that sort of thing. So it's great. So I followed the trails and I came across uh, a, um, one of the spots where there was supposed to be a cache, but uh, I couldn't find it. I looked for some time and they just uh, where the GPS was taking me was a manhole cover and I know they wouldn't lift a manhole cover to hide one. So I moved on to the second one and there um, it was also very difficult to find. Same person cached it. Uh, turned out it was up, up inside a tree and you had to climb the tree to get to it, which I think is cheating. You shouldn't have to climb a tree to get to a cache, especially when it's an old tree that's already falling, limbs are falling down and breaking off. And um, his, um, The very first cache that I was looking for uh, before, I, before I went to the end of the ravine to find the first one uh, was actually uh, over a fence, which... Um, you you uh, you can see there's all kinds of postings. There's an eight thousand dollar fine if you're caught climbing over the fence. Plus there's uh, the uh, bluffs right at that point are crumbling and and falling down into the uh, into the uh, Bluffers Park area. So it's very dangerous, and I can't imagine for the life of me why any uh, geocacher would uh, put his cache in an area that's so dangerous and against the law to get to. So uh, pretty much I'm going to exclude anything that guy does, or girl, whoever it is, and uh, stick to other caches because his caches are, A, they're almost impossible to find, and B, some of them are dangerous, like the one up the tree. Anyways, uh, I did get out and have a good time, and I shot a few uh, clips, so it's not going to be a big video. Better with the glasses on. Hi, and welcome to Dave's Life Over Sixty Five. New pastime, something a friend of mine introduced me to called geocaching. But not all day tracking down caches, and I'm zero, I'm 0 for 0. And uh, there's, uh, there's our aircraft right on time. Don't worry, my friends, one day I'll be able to afford a stabilizing gimbal. Look at this. All kinds 
of places to explore. The nice thing about an uphill climb on your way to the geocache is it's downhill on the way home. The first geocache I came to in this area is uh, <clears throat> sort of fallen over the cliff. So it would be very dangerous and illegal to try to get to it. It's a $1,000 fine if you're caught. Imagine having a house like this one. <laughs> Step out your back door and you're in the country. Well, let's see. I'm not really sure where we are. Anyways, I'm going to check out and check my geocache map and see if I'm getting close. area. I'll be back. Well, I just spent the last half hour chasing a wild goose. Apparently what I thought was a geocache was a waypoint. So I'm, I'm off on another hunt now. And I had no idea this even existed. It's funny how you can have all this neat trails. Look, one there. And another one there. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can get close to the next one and I'll be back.